watch these guys. Yeah, yeah. Individually, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Not a shock that uh, we're seeing these guys at the top of the bracket, though. You know, every week I, s I see them here and just... It is, it is nice to watch them, you know. Do, oh, absolutely. Good Although, eventually some of us are going to level up and we'll be up there, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Oh, got a couple levels to go. Low one worked me over pretty well uh, oh, in bracket no. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's rough. All right. Catching a down air right off the rip, trying to get a little bit of stage control. Really going for things. Low playing very patiently, letting letting Kepler have his little grenade party. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kepler, I think in the first 10 seconds, he blew up two C4s. <laughs> Low just waiting for one one little, just waiting, just waiting to get in. Getting in and smacking him around for, I mean, just to even this game up right, out, right off one little string. Yep. Ooh. Yep. Low has is, low is come in. He's trying to... Trying to do something. The second he's able to get in just a little bit, he really takes a uh, takes advantage and runs with it. Playing very well. Both players just kind of doing what optimally they need to really be doing to either escape these different situations or take advantage of what they have. You know. Yep. Still running again with that C4 management, trying to like specifically putting it on that platform just to kind of lock out um, low from from trying to do some center stage. Oh um, yeah, putting it on combos. the platform, especially on this stage, is so nice because not only do you lock out the platform for approaches, but you also make it really scary to try and run under the platform. That is very true. Up till taking the first stock there. All right, pretty clean stock, sitting at 100 percent. Mm -hmm. Not too, not too not shabby. Too, yeah. Oh, that back air lasting so long. Yeah, really long, actually. He's like, hmm, maybe I'll take some advice from Palutena. <laughs> Run with a few bears myself. Down air, just forcing that, that advantage state one more time. Really trying to chase him down with Nikita before he's able to come back and get him. But a down tilt to a death Shoulder combo, bash. Just proving itself to be a very good kill option for, uh, for Wario to this day. Again, him playing very patiently, waiting on ledge, waiting for these options to, to fully expend themselves before he stands up. So, you know, he's just got to do that kind of stuff. Oh. See, low ones really liking hanging out on that platform. That's true. Just daring Snake to jump up and try and contest him. Oh, yeah. Saying, come on, come get me. The longer he sits there, he's always got that waft. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Down smash. Catching really that good air read. Dodge. Yeah. No way. Oh, my <sighs> goodness. That. Forward or up tilt to, to waft a true combo. It actually is, which is actually kind of just disgusting, in my opinion. Sitting on those platforms, Wario starts up tilting you in shield. It's so scary. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for it. Oh, yeah. And just tying this game up just like that. Snake just throwing out as many projectiles as he can, saying, Come on, come approach me, Wario. Did you see run up jab? Yeah, you did. <laughs> that is uh, an interesting uh, approach option from uh, from Kepler there. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's got to do something to get in. You know, because oh, Wario's not going to. He's really feeling himself going for that forward air off stage. Oh, yeah. And again, if Wario's not going to approach, he's going to have to take matters into his own hands, you know? Playing with C4 again on stage. Ooh. Dash tag, trying to just keep things in in Kepler's favor here. Although it's it's hard to say if you have a favor or not with Kat, with uh, you know against Wario because he can just kind of kill when he wants sometimes. Yeah. You are genius. <laughs> Half charge WAP, almost killing at this percent. Oh, oh, didn't quite get the dash attack and got up tilted for it. Yep. I guess it's not a true combo. It was very close, though. Yeah, got to know your percents or Snake will get you. That is true. 
So this is specifically for third place. It's actually pretty great. Where did they go? Was it the battlefield I saw? Or was it FD? I didn't catch it. Uh, I wasn't paying enough attention, but they will stick with their mains. They remember, this is a best of, uh, best of five. So, we shall see how far this goes. Battlefield, interesting. I know Kepler loves this stage. That would make sense. And it's also a really good stage for Wario, too. Wario That's gets true. a lot off ladder combos. Yeah, yeah. Any character that can make use of those platforms to extend their, their upward combos uh, loves Battlefield. But I know it's also a, a snake playground with all this explosive planted all over the place. You have to weave between all of those and the platforms. Wow, this is it. This is that was some impressive ledge guarding from low there. No kidding. Catching the two frame with I think a down smash, coming back off stage to to challenge that because uh, you don't get super armor the second time you use it in the air. I don't think you do at least. Just dropping C4 like, yep, yeah, I'm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Nice tech, unfortunately, killing low. Wow. <laughs> really wanted the the waft into uh, stage spike there. Oh, yeah, really wanted the stage spike. Another wow. back air way off stage. He's really going out there for those kills. Oh, yeah, and these two guys playing a lot more aggressive for round two here. Not really camping it out so much. Oh. Although now, now low can definitely afford to be a bit more aggressive, especially now that he's up the stock like this. Nair out of shield, kind of a good option, just throwing that damage out there. Really, really capitalizing, as I was saying earlier, on, on neutral. Ooh, get up attack, really just pushing him away. I would have, that's kind of like the best option there, especially when someone's trying to force you attack situation, force you to react, force you to, to do something, you know, and trying to react off that. Seems like we're seeing Lowe go back to being a little more patient. He's got that back air there, but he's been dancing around the platforms a little bit. Mm -hmm. When you're up a stock, you know, no rush. Oh, yeah. Especially for Wario. <laughs> yeah, Wario does want to definitely spend some time and wait. Attempt to uh, build up more of that waft just to get those cool kills like that. Again, Kepler proving that he is the god of teching. In fact, getting the kill again off that kind of stuff. Kepler it's says, uh, you back air me into the stage? How about I uh, return the favor? Exactly. It is, it is impressive to watch. <laughs> oh, he's just throwing loving. out all of these explosives, almost like a, almost like a sortie, just throwing out as many hitboxes as they can, just trying to wall their, their opponent out. Kepler's like, this is my little playground down here. I'm just going to continue throwing explosives and hang out. And low one's just sitting up on that top platform. I have no reason. To oh. <laughs> catching, catching with, <laughs> catching with waft again. Just, you got to love when you have a kill option like that. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm finally going to step in on you and get, get some percent on you and try to kill. Oh, I'm dead because he fired it on me. Yeah. <laughs> Rough, just rough. Well, it is now one to one. I'm curious where uh, I didn't I didn't catch what stage they're going to. Where uh, where Kepler wanted to go? Oh, I did not. I didn't. Pay I wouldn't attention. be surprised if we go back to Battlefield, given how much Kepler likes it. That's oh, true. Oh no, we're we headed to, to town and city again. I think this is. Yeah, our boy KK there serenading us. Oh yeah, gotta love Mr. Slider. In fact, actually, I'm wearing a KK Slider shirt right now. I don't even know. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm, I'm repping the, the KK love today. Very timely. One extra K in that, that'd be a very inappropriate thing to say on stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I realized, as I said, you know, our, our buddy KK, I was like, uh, Mr. Slider. Let's go with Mr. Slider instead. <laughs> <laughs> So 
sorry, I had some notifications come up on my phone. Some important Discord chat things. Kepler, uh, he was very content to, to zone from the other side of the stage, rushed in out of nowhere, and got punished for it. Sounds about right. That's just, that's what, that's what happens like when you play against Lowe. You, he, he forces you to, to not play as patiently as, you, as necessarily you'd like to. He's like, yeah, I can just wait you out. I have no problems waiting you out. I know you're going to come in on me eventually. Oh, yeah. And it's crazy against a character like Snake being able to, to force them to approach. Oh, that's yeah, an unfortunate error. Go? Yeah. I didn't see where his jump got eaten. Yeah, I didn't either. He just got the, the cipher out, but didn't get enough uh, upward momentum before he crossed the blast zone. Yeah. Really, really an unfortunate uh, SD there. I'll call it an SD. I could be wrong. And it's so scary to have that against Wario when he's when he's already got the WAF that can just delete stocks and you're down you're down a stock already. You might as well consider yourself down two stocks. You play yeah. It's a real good Wario. Which uh, low one certainly is. Oh yeah. If his if his record at Smash Rush is any indication, I believe uh, there's only been a few times where he hasn't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. He said down two stocks. <laughs> There he is escaping those combos again with grenades. Yep. Up tilt, shield poking actually. Let's let's see let's see if he's able to uh, come back from this one and really move things forward. He's not that he's not that far down on the second on his last oh there well sixty five percent now. <laughs> You're getting some uh, comments from the players mid set here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ooh, Ooh, really going for really, up trying to... Oh, uh, and managed to get down with no punish. <laughs> Kepler getting a little bit tilted over there. He's like, I can't land a hit on you. There we go. He's like... The F smash, bold. That is that is definitely a sign of tilt. <laughs> but if you can get the two frame, that uh, that would turn the match around real quick. Oh, yeah, it definitely would. Kepler's got to slow down, play a little bit more patiently, I feel like, or else he's going to be more more finger food for uh, for Wario there. Oh, man. I think after this match, I'm going to step outside for a little bit, try to do some jumping jacks and wake myself up, because I am actually getting a little bit tired after having all the smash all day. Wow. Waft again. Another waft. I have another stock taken. <laughs> Poor Kepler. He is... That's a rough way to go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to see about grabbing a uh, commentator. All right. It's a risky move leaving a rookie on commentary like this. I'm just gonna start dropping all the all the commentary cliches, the the nice back airs, and uh, ooh, that stock sending a message. All right, heading to Lilat. Saw Lilat did some really good work for Kepler uh, against Hex in his last match, so uh, not surprised to see him headed there again. Oh, right away, Kepler's dropping those C4s all over the middle of the stage, trying to just push low one into the corner. Low one, just standing there on the side, totally content to let Kepler uh, set off his explosive show. You actually see some interesting play from uh, people like Low One and Lilat because the edge of the stage gets a slight downward tilt, so you can actually sort of hunker down under a lot of different attacks. Low One taking advantage of that to just creep under some of Snake's projectiles. poking each other's shields, daring uh, daring each other to drop. And 
Low one's uh, taking up his post over on the corner again. Oh, corner to corner. Oh, just barely getting the kill with that up tilt. Kepler seals it out. Oh, so scary seeing low one run off stage. Last match, we had a pair of back air kills way off stage towards the ledge. Kepler really smart with those down throws, knowing to, to jump over the get up attack and then uh, attack once his invulnerability ends. Kepler actually shouting out I'm dead there, but managing to live nonetheless. Dropping an IC4 right onto Wario's shield. Getting that clean down throw into uh, F-Tilt at the ledge for another stock. Kepler feeling... Uh, Pretty good right now, up almost a full stock, but uh, you can never be too confident against Wario. That waft can uh, even things up pretty quickly. And uh, Wario's got his golden glow, so it's, uh, it's go time, and not in the Terry sense. Ooh, not quite getting the kill off that waft, but definitely a, a scary moment for Kepler recovering into that. Oh, another back air off stage uh, from low one to seal out Kepler's stock. And at this point, it's uh, pretty close to an even game. 60% on uh, low, but that's definitely nothing Wario uh, can't make up. Low one playing really patient here. Seems like he's uh, hoping uh, if he drags it out enough, he might get another at least a half loft to, uh, to possibly seal out the stock. Kepler finally going on the offensive, trying to push low one into the corner there, but resetting back to neutral. Chasing Wario uh, across the full stage with Nikita there. Oh my gosh. Looks like I missed a lot of this game. Yeah, this is really the, the game of back airs. Both of them uh, <laughs> getting a lot of work done with back air. I guess. Really just trying to catch this landing, the, the landing option using everything at his disposal there. Not able to catch it, unfortunately. Low trying to trying oh. to sneak out of that one, but down <laughs> the down throw just doing it. <laughs> I love the comments here from Kepler. This is always, yeah. a, always a fun time. He says, as I grab him, he says, "Don't do it." <laughs> oh man! So it is two two now to determine who gets third place at Smash Rush number twenty nine. We're almost at Smash Rush thirty. I'm That's really crazy. excited for it. I really. I almost want to see if we can do something special for it, or something along those lines. What do you What do you think we should do? What do you, What What kind What kind of things would you like to see for Smash Rush Thirty? Smash Rush Thirty. <coughs> you know, I'd I'd really love to see some like themed side brackets. I know. Ooh. Uh, you know, what? actually, I think we are kind of we are kind of uh, experimenting with that. We're going to experiment that with the next Smash Rush. 
when, for amateur bracket, it's not going to be a normal bracket. It's going to be a squad strike bracket. Oh, that's fantastic. It's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like that's going to spice things up a little bit, kind of add to our, our excitement here. Yeah, the amateur bracket's always a, a really fun experience, but getting something really, uh, really special is going to be a good way to unwind after bracket. Oh, yeah. It definitely is. Kepler doing quite a lot of damage uh, in this in this matchup so far. Uh, I'm counting 22%, 10 of it to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Lowe just able to capitalize on these landings here, not letting him, not letting him breathe on stage. Yeah, you can definitely see why uh, why they picked the stage. Oh yeah, it's hard to hard to land when you uh, don't have a, a platform to mix things up on. Yep. I'm surprised. I'm interested. I wonder what he, what what the bands were, to end up here. No idea. But I I always like seeing people play on Kalos. I feel like it is one of the more exciting stages, in uh, in Smash Ultimate. It is the the like stained glass window aesthetic. I'm all about it. Not even just that. I mean, yes, definitely the stained glass window <laughs> aesthetic. That is that is kind of like my my stuff right there. But for me, it's it's the placement of the platforms. The fact that it it's almost like a it's almost like Final Destination Light. Ooh, up smash, almost taking it. But again, Kalos being a, a fun stage with a huge upper blast zone. Huge blast zones in, in you know, like yeah, yeah. In, in general. Just not doing it. Well, it's interesting because it's got the platforms there to, that a lot of people can use to mix up their recoveries. But they aren't centrally placed, so you don't see as many vertical combos. Mm-hmm. And you don't see it too much in this matchup, but you can see some horizontal combos from specific characters oh, yeah. that can really drag off the sides. Oh, yeah. But now, not quite what Wario and Snake are known for. I have a question. That, yeah, that was a yeah. grenade kill at the end there. Do we count those SDs? <laughs> 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 Kidding, of course. Wow. He had uh, C4 planted on the other platform there, hoping to catch his landing with the with the back air. That was That's some... Big brain play. Oh, Lowe catching just, the loss of invincibility on the ledge there. Yep, Lowe just waiting a little bit too too late on, or a little bit too late on, on edge and just feeling the full force of the Nikita. Low again having Loft uh, charged up, really just uh, forcing Kepler to approach again, getting getting pushed back out. Oh, almost catching with that waft, but. Kepler knowing, just to, well, I don't even know if he knew, just he didn't push in as far as Lowe wanted. You always breathe a sigh of relief when you're playing against Wario and you see that thing come out and not kill you. Oh yeah. I was gonna say that might that might have that might be the definitive act or the you know the definitive thing for this, but don't forget Kepler's still at 115%, hasn't been able to do anything with this uh, second stock so far against uh, Lowe. Yeah, and Lowe has been playing extremely patient. So he's, I mean, with two stocks left, he's definitely getting at least half waft, if not another full waft by the end of the, the oh, match. Oh, definitely. Trying to uh, shield his own recovery there by throwing those grenades out, making it so Wario would have a much harder time getting off stage to uh, attempt to maybe down air or something along those lines. Kepler's focusing on just trying to rack up a little bit of percent here. It looks like he, he's he's not going to accept that he's lost this stock. Yeah, yeah. He, he won't, but there it is. The back air <laughs> taking that, that final one. <laughs> but he's, he's gotten a little bit of a percentage on, on Wario. You oh, know? That down air certainly does the job. Oh, yeah. That thing does so much percent for how fast it is. It really does. Wario getting a little bit of those uh, up tilt combos on, uh, on on Snake, you know, big heavy boy, easy to combo, and uh, <laughs> hoping for the neutral getup. I think it was. Yeah, yeah, catching it with that F smash. I don't know. He might been he might have been able to catch uh, Roll as well. I think Roll would have put him just a little bit too far yeah. behind. Ooh, trying to catch the uh, the out of shield option. Oh, chomp coming in. Oh, Low one is stage. so good at jumping up with that with the chomp. He really catch is. Shields. The spot oh. dodge, the spot dodge, essentially winning that final match. Wow, that was impressive. <laughs>